Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a couple years ago. And uh, this is my subject today. Well, I got this image and also I made this image by Adobe Photoshop. Use the filter called Find Edges. I'm going to change this image um, blend mode no more to darken and also opacity go down to 50% or so then I'm going to change this base image turn down to 50% uh, maybe 40% or so okay we're going to paint it on this layer I'm going to move it in between these two images. Okay, let's get started. I go with the two watercolor brush. Now, watercolor wash flat first. Pick up some skin tone color about this. Now, paint it on this layer. I light it with LED light, dark light one main light from the Hollywood lighting type go front then I have some background light around and also I have the skylight I mean uh, as a key light pretty much strong okay I'm gonna put this size go down to about 100 Okay, I'm gonna turn this one off so maybe you can see, well, just a little bit more darker. Okay, about this is maybe some, a little bit bigger and touch darker on this shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna, this is shadow, right? Shadow on neck and cheek, and so I'm gonna put different color on that. Now, first, I'm gonna blend in with the water. more shadow here so go a little more darker okay about here it's shadow area here and also some shadow here too and cheek lips and uh, and the nose and I have shadow of the eyelashes turn this one down so we can see the shadow I'm going to add the shadow on here. Then, maybe go mm, a little more dark, maybe. I'll go here first. Now I'm going to add different color on shadow side, and maybe add, tone this one down. Then make smaller one first. Then 
this is pretty much big area. Once I'm going to dry, and then Just that uh, light skin tone. I'm gonna add some on cheek. Now I go, uh, can go real dark. I'm gonna change the brush to watercolor round detail. I'm gonna turn this one down. I mean, uh, turn it off so I see more clear. Oops, I think I painted on here. Well, let me see. Oh yeah. I'm gonna move this layer down up on the skin tones and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna march down this one. Okay. That's together now, right? Okay. This eyebrow, I don't know. Well, just touch. I don't know if it's gonna, how it's gonna show. I don't know, but uh, let's add it. Just, well, I'm gonna add the hair sign. I, I don't know about this. Anyways, okay. Now I go with the lips. First, go with real light, highlight area. Turn this one down. I'm gonna blend this shadow area here. 
We'll also make them a little bit dark. Back to lips a little bit more to a nice shape. That's too much, I guess. Uh, one, two. Let's change this eyebrow. So I'm going to erase this. Okay, now we are. Oops, what's this? Yep, and this. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I just. When did I put this? I don't remember. Mm, I'm gonna turn down this line and I'm gonna erase this a bit. Uh, Be careful with this erasing. I'm gonna add some water with the skin tone to blend. Okay. Now I go for hair. I'm gonna make it real nice brown. But she has highlight on here, so uh, first right here. Maybe I take this here highlight. With the eraser tool, maybe? Well, let, let me try. Okay, I go with round detail. I mean, the wash flat and go brown. Okay, let me try. Just in case, I'm gonna add layer and I'm gonna put on this here. Go from here. I think it's nicely woos. Once I'm going to dry, then make it a little more darker, a little small, I mean, uh, real sharp. Okay, let's try. Again, a little light, then add here, around here too. Same hair layer. I guess I should paint it on necklace, kind of black, bean type, and also the shadow here too. Okay, on this layer, different layer, I'm gonna use the
the real black part. Now I go back to here. Now I see the highlight. Well, make the highlight very last. Now I'm going to put some dark side of the hair. Some more darker Okay, now I see, well, make a mask and uh, let's blend it in first, then uh, check out, okay, create empty mask, invert mask, now reveal some with the painting to, what's a roughing brush, hmm, kind of interesting, try it, yes, why not? Okay, let's go with it. Now 100% reveal. Oh, that's the uh, biggest 300. Move with it. this hair. A little more bigger. Yeah, that's interesting, I think. 420. And this is like a dry media type brush. Okay, as I said, I'm gonna make a highlight with the eraser tool. Let's see, in this layer. soft well, that's it for now and uh, about this line image I'm gonna well it has to be 100% and uh, I'm gonna create empty mask and an um, invert mask now I don't see my nothing, but uh, I can reveal this image if I want some black line pencil drawing tape. I think I don't have much on. Only we have here lips and hair. I don't want that, so I'm not gonna show here, but uh, just keep it this way now. I don't see anything now, but this is drawing, pencil drawing type of image, right? Okay, I may use around here maybe, some, I don't know. Okay, just leave it there, and I'm gonna continue to reveal on this with the mask of, I mean reveal, roughing brush, 
to use. Now we have highlight here. Now, and also I want to make some background color. I'm going to add add layer under this base image. So I'm going to add layer here. Then use not watercolor. Let me use same roughing brush. This brush, same thing. But I'm going to paint some different color. Well, let's see. I'm going to put some pinkish color just now. I just want to see it for this brush. Yeah. I like this texture. Okay, and also orange. Let's see. Just leave it now. Just for now. Okay, I'm going to reveal this with roughing brush hmm yeah sort of different feeling of um, illustrated image roughing brush has sort of some kind of oil paint texture like that's interesting you see guys this texture and this is watercolor here right well new art well i think i guess that's it for today and uh, that's kind of fun find out some new taste well thank you guys uh, watching my video i really appreciate to support me and uh, you guys have a nice day and i hope today's video is going to give you some kind of idea of your creative work Thank you and I'll see you next time. Ciao!